Hi everyone and good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. If you can tell, my voice is all messed up. Not really how... Well, honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yesterday, I didn't talk at all all day because I just felt like I was going to start coughing. Cow milk. Did you like the apple pie? Yeah. Was it so good? Yeah. All right. Do you recommend the recipe? Yeah. Okay. For everyone? For everyone. Who wants to try? Who wants to try? Ap making apple pie. Who makes apple pie? <laughs> there you guys go. So as you guys can uh, tell by the title. Uh, we made some apple pie and it's the first time I ever made apple pie and I gotta tell you it came out so good So if you're into apple pie and you usually buy it at the store I really recommend making your own because it makes such a huge difference Was that hi pa? And um, so yeah yesterday I couldn't really talk because my throat was killing me and I didn't want to start coughing like crazy But um, I did manage to film making apple pie for you guys So that's definitely what we're gonna be watching today and then I got this recipe online um, So I'm gonna go ahead and put down in the description where I found it and then everything I used it was super simple the dough that I used um, I had bought like this pre-made dough that came in a box I have never used it before, but again, it was amazing. It was so good. So if you guys are interested in watching and finding out how to do your own apple pie, keep watching, and I'll see you guys later. I'll be using five apples, and um, recommended you guys use Granny Smith, these green ones. Um, I had one honey crisp apple. I was like, you know what? Heck, I'll just throw it in there, and it was just fine, honestly. Um, so another thing is I did not read my instructions, and so I began to do my filling first. No problem. I found a solution. I was supposed to let my pie crust uh, thaw out, which I did not because your girl did not read the instructions like always. And so I began happily, merrily cutting my apples. So if you guys decide to work on your filling first like I did, I recommend you guys put some lemon juice and uh, fill it with water so that the apples do not turn brown. Next, if you're going to use the same pie crust as I did, go ahead and leave it out for um, room temperature about 50 minutes so that the pie crust can be pliable. Now this is a 9 inch pie uh, baking pan and what I did in the beginning as you guys can see here is when I started unrolling it, not knowing I had to have it to room temperature, it began to crack on me. So I was like, you know what, I can still use this. I could do a lattice apple pie. So now that we have our pie crust in our pan, I just began to slightly do like a wavy design on the top. It was super easy. I just kind of like a zigzag with my finger pressed up, pressed down in the opposite way. And it was just super easy. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And so next thing is, um, after we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and strain our apples. Make sure we take out as much moisture as you can. Something I did not do that I would recommend is to kind of take a napkin and then like plot your apples to remove any excess uh, moisture left behind by the water. I want to go ahead and add in my sugar, my flour, my cinnamon, and definitely to counterbalance the sweetness, a pinch of salt.
So after putting all our filling into our pie, we are now gonna work on our crumble. And a crumble is just a simple topping you put on top of your pie. It includes butter, cold butter, um, some flour, some brown sugar, some cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. I kind of just um, crumbled all that together with my fingers. Make sure the butter is cold. I diced it up before putting it in. And as finely as I could get it. And then after that, I just kind of put everything on top of the pie, on top of the apples. Remember that sheet of uh, pie crust that I took out beforehand and kind of started breaking on me so I decided to try it to do a lattice pie and a lattice pie is just kind of like a fancy design on top of the pie and it came out spectacular I honestly thought it was gonna be super hard I didn't even think about it I just began to kind of like overlapping lapping underlapping and it was marvelous Finished it off with a quick egg wash and then popped it in the oven for 400 around 15 minutes. Then dropped the temperature to 350 for around 40 minutes and I let it sit for around 2 hours before cutting into it. Definitely topping it off with some vanilla ice cream was a game changer for me. It was delicious. It was like sweet, refreshing. I don't know. It was so good. And to top it off, very top, I added some caramel drizzle, like the one that I usually put for like my iced coffee. Oh my goodness. This was so good. Um, something that I should have done that i didn't think at the moment was to pop the pie back in the oven for just a few minutes to kind of warm it up so that way you can kind of melt the ice cream but other than that it was perfect i really recommend you guys try this out definitely let me know how it went and then until next time bye bye Ooh.